how to add subtitles to video online. And we're going to be doing all this using an online video editor called Veed. To get started, head over to Veed.io and click on a new project. And then once you're within Veed's video editor, here we want to click on upload the files. And then we're going to browse through our documents and select the video we want to add subtitles to. Click on open. And then as we can see, it's now imported into Veed. And now if I click play, Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. As you can see, we have my podcast video snippet. To begin adding subtitles to this video, it's very simple. All I have to do is click on the subtitle tab in the left toolbar, and then I'm going to click on the auto subtitle tool. We then need to select the language that we are speaking in within our video. In this video, we'd speak in English, so I select English and then click on start. V then takes a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically transcribe the audio from your video into text and turn that text into subtitles. So now, as we can see, we have subtitles that have appeared in three different places. We have them in the subtitle editor on the left. We can see them in the timeline, and then we can also see them on the actual video canvas. So if I bring the playhead back to the beginning, and now I press play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about and as you can see, we have some subtitles which are pretty accurate. Now I can spot two mistakes. There's one at the beginning. As you can see the first subtitle, it just says everyone instead of hey everyone. But to change this, all I have to do is click on the text bubble for that subtitle and just edit it as if it was normal text anywhere else. And as you can see, the changes are then made in real time. And I also want to make sure that it starts earlier because if you take a look when I click play. Hey everyone. I as you can see, there's a blank space with no subtitle. And to change the timing of a specific subtitle, there's a few different ways you can do it. First, you can manually click and drag within the timeline, just like so. You can then place the playhead where you want that subtitle to begin, and then click on the beginning stopwatch, just like so. Or you can enter the time in manually on your keyboard. So if I want it to start at 0.1 second, I can do so. However, I'm going to revert it back to zero because I want it to start from the beginning. So I just place the playhead and click on the beginning stopwatch. Now at the end, as we can see, we have one word by itself started. And I want to basically just take this word and paste it onto the previous subtitle. That way there's not one word by itself. So to do this in the subtitle editor, I'm just gonna cut and then paste this text to the previous subtitle. Then what I'm going to do is also copy the time and paste it to the end time of the previous subtitle and delete it. So now it'll still end at the correct time. So if I play it through, it's social media. So get comfortable, grab your favorite drink and let's get started. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing good. As you can see, that looks pretty good. I might even drag it out just a bit more. There we go. So now I've added subtitles to my video. If I'm looking to download them as an SRT file to add them as closed captions to social media platforms, all I have to do is click on the options tab and then under the download subtitles, I select the format that I want to download them as. The best format is SRT format, the subrip subtitle file, and then click on download. And then your subtitles begin to download as closed captions. However, if you're looking to hard code these subtitles into the video, so you want them to always appear on this MP4 video, we can click on export. But first we need to do a bit of styling. So we're gonna click back on our subtitles and then we're gonna go under the style tab in the subtitle editor. And as we can see here, we have a bunch of different options to customize and style our text. We can change the font, we can change the font size, we can change the font color. We can also change the effect. For example, right now we have block, but I could add some drop shadow. I can then change the color of that drop shadow. Let's say I want to make it yellow. And then at the bottom, we also have a bunch of preset subtitles ready for you so that you can select. So I like this one, the white one with a bit of black drop shadow. If your video has a lot of information on it, these yellow ones stand out a lot. Or if not, this one with a see-through block makes them very readable. And then I also want to mention that you can click and drag your subtitles around on your video canvas. You can also resize the box. You can also rotate it. And no matter what changes you make, all subtitles are then affected. So if I click play now. Hey, welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything. And so as you can see, that's how to add subtitles to our video and style them. And then to burn the subtitles into the actual video, all I have to do is click on exports in the top right. V then starts to render our video with its new subtitles hard coded into it. And then once it's finished rendering, we can go ahead and download our video with its new subtitles. And that is how to add subtitles to video using Veed. If you have any questions about subtitles and closed captions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.